What's up, guys? We are dodging some raindrops today. I got nothing running. Um, I got the entire store is warm, except for the back area. It's gonna be that guy there. I got our umbrella out. So let's start here. This doesn't feel like anything's running either. I got uh, one blank thermostat. I think it's gonna be that one. And this one was on, said cooling. But obviously I got nothing happening. So let's get these panels off and see what the deal is. stripped I got no screen no low voltage trips there uh, that's not a good sign that compressors warm we may have tripped a breaker we got the usual carrier cap tubes rubbing doesn't look like it rubbed through and I don't really see any oil so that's a good sign maybe but let's uh, check voltage and see what we got so we've tripped our breaker and no voltage well oh no I lost a leg there's one leg. And nothing on that leg. Huh. All right. Oh, this looks nice. I don't see anything burnt up. I don't like whatever that is going on there. But mm, blown fuse. Yep, that center fuse there. So now we go back and figure out what the hell caused our blown fuse. These are, I believe, humidimizers. So they will reheat. So let's just uh, kill our power first. Or what power we have and uh, check for shorts to ground I can get on it here I got a short right there both sides so Uh, it's either a fan motor or a compressor. Terminals don't look bad, but my short went away. So this is gonna be our problem child here. We're gonna have a bad compressor. <clears throat> See if it owns that at all. Hmm, 
five. It says three phase. Point six. Yeah, something's not right with that. Let's go back to continuity just to verify. Yep. So she shorted the ground. Um, why would be the next question. Plug looks okay. Like I said, that compressor felt warm, like it was running. Um, this may not be a humidimizer because there is no low ambient. Usually there's a motor master sitting in here somewhere. Um, so we may have lost the THV bulb, although it doesn't look like it's rubbed or feel like it's rubbed out. Um, we're going to have to do an acid test. And then, uh, at least for now, we'll get the uh, power back on, get a fuse in there, and at least get the blower running so we can move some air around. And then we're gonna move back to that guy, see what's going on with it. And, wow. So this is the, this is an older unit. That is actually a newer unit. Uh, we're, I mean, we've, we're gonna have a cracked heat exchanger in this, but I've also tripped a breaker. This is a humidimizer. I don't even see the oil. Um, they are, uh, this is an old one. This is one of the originals. They kind of, this has been, this has been field modified. If you see that. That is a reheat coil there. And they're using these valves to dehum. Um, and obviously the, this unit probably needs to go. I'm not sure what happened yet. Oh, there's a fan motor bad. That was locked. Yeah, that fan motor's done. Um, Let's see if we got power. I'm sure we don't, because I don't see a low voltage tripped. Let's see. I don't even know where the hell my power is at. I know it's here, but. So we're up here. I ain't got nothing. So, I got another breaker tripped. Uh, obviously, the weather's cooperating now, but we could, we could have been struck with lightning or something, because I didn't really see a cause for that other compressor. I'm not getting any direct shorts here. So this guy might run. So that would be my theory at this point is we got struck by lightning. Because my fuses are good. I want continuity. Where you at? What the hell is going on here? And it looks like all these fuses are going to be good. 
So let's go down and find the breaker. I don't see a cause for this. My fuses are good, so that uh, also points me back to maybe we had a, uh, a lightning strike or something. I do have one, at least one bad fan motor. I don't know about this guy. It spins. So that fan motor's done. Let's find our breakers. Let's get power on and see what happens. We'll look at our blower real quick first. Um, this bad thing is, is it's probably going to run, and that guy's got a dead compressor. It's a newer unit, so let's see what we can do from there. We need a new belt. You can see it belts ate up. Uh, it's our recoil right there that was added. And all the wires, look, I mean, <laughs> good lord. <laughs> it's a wonder it didn't have a low voltage short before. Whatever happened here, this is wires just hanging everywhere. It's like every other carrier, but this, this is a mess. <sighs> and it works, but. Let's hope we don't have to decipher any of this wiring. Um, so let's go get a fuse and find this breaker, find a belt, at least get something running. We got a new fuse in. Let's see if this thing blows up. There goes my blower. I just disconnected the compressor there, uh, taped it up. Uh, we can come in and disable that contactor too, but I want to make sure both my fans run. Alright, so we got fans. Um, we got uh, a little bit of economizing going on. Uh, we'll come back and check on that. At least I got a blower moving some air. Uh, still a little humid out today for the economizer but uh, that will uh, we're supposed to get cold again in the next couple days so that one will be able to economize this is the one I don't have an answer on except for the motor's dead pulled the wire to the motor for right now and reset the breaker I got a fan motor for some reason that relay is probably stuck. That's why I tripped my breaker. And that's probably why that relay is stuck. Nice. Well, we got the power back off. We'll isolate that motor and then see um, see if our compressors come on. We'll have to get a motor or maybe cover this one. We'll make sure everything else works first. So we've got power off here. This is my relay. This is just a 9340 relay. So coil voltage is down here. And I don't know how well you can see, but that number three and number one is a normally open contact. So when it energizes, it brings my condenser fan motors on. And my power is off right now. We're on continuity. So we can go to our normally open contact. And see that it's closed. So that relay's failed. Probably because of that motor dying. So we got that motor isolated. Let's uh, kick her back on. See what happens from there. We're just gonna stand back and watch. Um, that fan motor's still running, obviously. I'm gonna have a time delay on my compressors. We'll just see what pulls in. None of these contactors look great, but like I said, it's an old unit. All right, so second stage hasn't come on yet, but I do have the first stage. I got a condensating suction line. We can go here and feel. So that's my, I guess, discharge. 
solenoid would energize and we would send hot gas over through the reheat coil or I can feel all my hot gas going over to my condenser. So that valve's not energized. It shouldn't be because it's got a cooling call. About 63 degree air. So um, I'm not gonna dig too far into all this. Um, I gotta get a motor and a new belt. I just tightened the belt up for now. And then I haven't dealt much with these Bulimo economizer controls. That's pretty nice. It's telling me insufficient supplier temperature drop cooling system problem. I know, Bulimo, the compressor's dead. I'm also out of acid test, so I'm gonna have to grab an acid test when I go get the belt. And we're just waiting for stage two. And we ought to be okay here. At least got them some cooling with that uh, unit running and the economizer. Once we get uh, cold enough outside, they, they should be fine for a little while until we can come up with a solution for the compressor. And uh, we're gonna write all this up. This, uh, like I said, we probably got a cracked heat exchanger. You can see the front plate is rusted. Got screws falling out. So we're gonna make sure we write all this up because I don't know how well you can hear. It's kind of noisy, but that compressor doesn't sound great either. So I called the cracked heat exchanger. There's cracks. There's a little hole back there. So the heat exchanger's done. Oh yeah. Oh shit. It's ate up. Look at that. Yeah, I'd say I'd say she's done. Wow. So um we're gonna get them a condenser fan motor because we're gonna have to have that to make it run. Uh, and then we'll write all this up. I mean, they need, I might throw a 9340 on it just to get the fan from, to stop running when it's supposed to. Um, but this thing obviously needs some work. So we're going to write all this up and go get the stuff we need to make it work for now. And then we'll see where we go from there. So we got the quick test acid. We're going to. hard to depress depress those sometimes with these things but that is a negative test so not getting any acid that's good I usually like to check the high side sometimes if it tests negative just to see if I can't get a little oil in there but that's a negative test so winds picking up on me we're gonna button this guy back up move on over there I got a fan motor for that guy and this is why I usually try uh, my high side. I hit my discharge here too. Just trying to get some oil in there. And that, uh, I can smell it now. But that turned, it's supposed to turn like a purple color. And that turned black. And it stinks. So, it's a positive test. So that's why I always like to check again. Uh, these things, I've had good luck with. Um, and they usually show up pretty well, but uh, Sometimes you do get a false negative if you don't check a few different places. The motor's getting ready to go. I got my relay replaced. It'll land my power wire back on there. I got a new belt on. I got a fan blade. And I'm missing something. What the hell, man? I'm gonna miss a lock nut on that. So, uh, we're gonna reuse that one, I guess, because that's my only option at this point. Uh, it's always good. I do have some of these on my truck. I do like to save these sometimes if you're pulling motors out or something because of stuff just like this. Um, I don't know how anything gets in, put in a box like that um, and it had never been opened. So, but it is what it is. So we're gonna swap this motor out and get this guy turned back on. So we got our power back on. Fan motors aren't running because our relay is now working. New capacitor, obviously, we tidied up our wires so nothing's gonna be rubbing inside here. Uh, 
obviously this thing can use a whole lot more work, uh, contactors and everything else. But we're not going to go too far. Uh, they they need a new unit. So this, this guy's probably going to go. It's it's lived its life. It served them well. Uh, we didn't cut the gas off. So the gas is off. My wind is kicking. Um, so we're good to go there. We're going to leave this guy be. I think uh, that's probably going to be under warranty. And we've got about all we can out of this guy. So the gas shut off. We'll hopefully get a new unit up here one that's not been modified in the field. I guess this worked for a long time. Both compressors are still running too. So leave me a comment guys. Let me know what y'all think. Leave a trade better than you found it. See you guys next time.